Mm-hmm. What is success in the video game industry? And how long does it take? Two minutes? Two years? You let me I know. Th- I think... Because if I don't make my money within 30 seconds of mm-hmm. investing this $200 million game, which took four years to make, and I want to make my money back in two minutes, you don't think that's a little crazy? I think it's... And Tim had pointed this out a couple of pods ago. It's one of those things where it's like, it really feels like the age old saying of like comparison is a thief of joy of like, you're holding this game to a standard of it being in the same genre of this other game. That's uber successful, but it has also put in the work, right? It's, it's the Marvel, it's the MCU versus the DCU all over again of like, well, if they can do that with Iron Man and the Hulk and Thor, and we got Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman. How could we lose? And it's like, well, the key thing that you're missing here is the groundwork was laid in that instance. You just threw a bunch of recognizable names on the screen. And it was just like, come on now. Man of Steel. <laughs> and lit your cigar. And then we just went. <laughs> oh, yeah. Batman versus Superman. <laughs> what? <laughs> but but we want to see Henry Cavill in another movie. Silence, people. We understand <laughs> your needs. <laughs> Let us take care of the the the, the distribution, the, the, uh, whatever, man. You feel me? Let us take care of where the goods are distributed. We will teach you. Yeah. And then when the people, oh, oh haven't I given you everything? <laughs> we simply wanted another Man of Steel before Batman versus Superman. You right, know what I'm saying? Like, right. right. No. <laughs> they, they, saw, you know, they saw the concept art and like, how could we lose? How could this possibly fail? We got the two biggest recognizable superheroes on the cover. Yeah, right. And and out, for, right? Aqu- for, out. Aquaman, for Aquaman 2, you know, he's not going to actually fight the real Black Manta. He's going to fight a, a, a trident possessed by a Dark Lord from Lord of the Rings. Just our <laughs> Who version. came out of nowhere. Nowhere. No no lore build up. You know what I'm saying? Why are we yeah. fighting this guy? Yeah, but I think just to answer your question, I think what it is is like because it, it it's a symptom throughout the whole industry of like there's this level of assumption across the board where it's like I've been able to succeed very well in this very niche thing, which I have a a, a level of talent in, and therefore that talent should then cut across to this whole platform. Right. It's like expecting a hip hop artist to then drop a pop album. Like it's possible. It's possible. Mm-hmm. But you're not you I have I have not seen an ounce of the groundwork to make me think that this is something that you could pull off. And you as the person who's doing it should definitely be thinking more than I'm thinking as a consumer, as a person who has to receive this. So I felt like with Warner Brothers is one of those things where it's like, okay, you say you want to do more Harry Potter. Cool. But Hogwarts Legacy was an unexpected surprise by y'all on admittance. And what happened to this Quidditch Cup game? It came. I have not y'all seen y'all push it. No patch. No deal. Nothing. So I'm like, do you not? For all this, so we're gonna we're gonna focus. I'm like, that Quidditch game is as quiet as kept. I haven't heard a, a peep about that game. Which should have been added to a certain main mainline game. Right. If Hogwarts Legacy is doing so well, make this an expansion for that game. Right. If you're if you're if it's it's just like you have the pieces, just put it together, just connect it, put plug and outlet. But you know what was also I like feel- a very like a red flag for me? I would say Mortal Kombat is like so you're not respecting the rotation. So you're basically saying, Have you considered Mortal Kombat one like remember how you were saying like it's like considered a live service, so is that done? Because that makes it seem like you about to move on to a next installment after a certain after you sell us a certain amount of characters. And my thing about it is like, all right, if you really want to focus on a DC fighter that you know is gonna bring in, well you already have a title for that. And you know, people are still saying, like, hey, where is Injustice Three? But see the thing with that, Tim, is they'll sell you on a number board that Injustice doesn't sell as well as Mortal Kombat does. Whatever. And that's the simple math. Whatever. That's what they'll tell you. That's the simple math. It doesn't what? sell as much as that. But at, at this moment, like Injustice 2 is like a classic right now, bro. <laughs> it really is. It was such a big step up from the first one, bro. Like in terms of roster diversity and, you know, the that combos. That story was fire. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, the story was great. The story was great. And it just it's, it's could have been something that was built. It could have just been built on even more and more, more momentum. But then it's like this double down on Mortal Kombat where now we're starting to see the impact of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like, to be honest, Larry, I keep telling people, bro, they could have ended things with 11, bro. You could have ended things with 11. Then, yeah. <laughs> if you, if this is where we're going. You could have ended things with 11. Um, because this whole new universe stuff is off to a very harsh. Even some of the things that fans wanted to see, we're not making this a whole Mortal Kombat topic, but just, just to your point of like, oh, we can finally see the legacy of Kung Lao the Great. Nope, he's only referenced. Nope. <laughs> Which Again. would have made more sense. But <laughs> who are we? Right? Who are we? Right? Who, who are we? Are right? we? <laughs> I just think to to kind of close the topic up, it's just it's one of those things where I think I don't mind the 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 honing in on a couple of IPs. I think that's good, right? I think that's something where it's like if your intentions are to approach these IPs with love and consideration and detail and i am fully on board but based on what they've listed of of games that they're focusing on it's like these are games that you guys have not done this with you're you're you i mean batman will always be batman but y'all came pretty close with suicide squad of ruining that good will gotham knights did not help hogwarts legacy was again an unexpected surprise right talk about people uh uh, separating the art from the from the artist in that case when it came to the IP. So there's just certain things where I'm like, okay, I don't mind you guys holding in a couple of things, but what does this mean we're getting detailed? Or are we are we again trying to build that trust back with the consumer? Or are or is it, hey, the microtransactions worked out pretty well with these. We're just gonna keep on milking it. Any final thoughts on that? Uh I think they already lost goodwill, um, to be honest with you. I would agree. It's already it's in the can like like nobody's looking to um, Warner Brothers as if they're nobody's looking at any of these companies. If I tell you if anything to me, they're already in the garbage bin. Bioware, uh, WB, um, they just got a couple of it's like refried fries. You know when they gave it to you, you could tell when they gave it to you. You just you look at it and like okay, this is overcooked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm eating it, dog. <laughs> this is because the customer didn't want it the first time, and so they're like, "Yo, we we can't just throw this away." All right. <laughs> um. So, so yeah. Um. They're in the garbage bin already. It's already lost their goodwill with the um Gotham Knights, and then from Suicide Squad, just board up the house and throw light up, grab the kerosene, light it up with the. <laughs> y'all saw how much <laughs> it was on sale from that picture I sent y'all, bro. Bro, yeah, yeah everything that included. <laughs> That yeah, was a, I mean, take that's it. a heavy discount, bro. <laughs> right, and then and then right, it don't help that y'all finish. This is this is Arkham. This is Arkham. What Batman? Okay, yeah. I mean, some of the fights. How, how are you going to fight Super? How are, how are you supposed to fight Superman? How did you manage to beat the Green Lantern in an open world game? Like a lot of these things weren't because it's just a shooter. It's just a shooter. Mm-hmm. It's just mm-hmm. a shooter. Oh, and what, a what, what a shooter. Yeah, I know, yeah, on, why right. did you think why did you think this was gonna work um that the last thing i want to do is defeat yeah microtransaction bro is defeat superman with a 1911 that's yeah. the last thing i want to do but it has a, sn- I, I, sniped bullets, I, S-Rank. I, I, I sniped superman with us Kryptonian. wearing crypt- with us wearing kryptonite jewelry yes yeah right kryptonite talismans right so you're gonna kill the- us on the spot he doesn't kill us on the spot, man. That makes sense, right? Yeah. And then you know, one character. I mean, you know, you just had a whole movie, you know, with a character that's like, "Oh yeah, I shot Superman with a kryptonite bullet," and okay, he's not in the game. Not in the game. He's not in the game, right? Oh he no, you chose sense. the other marksman. You chose the other marksman, right? Because okay, yeah, right, right. Um, I think Suicide Squad would have worked better with if it was Peacemaker in there. Um, no, Bloodsport. Bloodsport, no peacemaker, bloodsport, and you know other. Yeah, other you don't, ca- you don't separate. You don't swap them out. You include. yeah, you don't swap them out. You in blue. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But for whatever reason, we have to have Harley Quinn, <laughs> right? Which is fine. It's fine. Captain it's fine, Boomerang man. is where I'm like, his no, he, whole, he, he, his he whole was, gimmick. Yeah, yeah, but is the I know I, I get 
the the thought process of putting I'm, I'm like but in this looter shooter shoot being the key word the boomerang guy maybe doesn't make the base roster maybe yeah. Just maybe. Because, yeah. like, cause to be honest, <laughs> even King Shark, I understood that is like, oh, but where's his Atlantean magic? Oh, no, he flares up and his tattoos light up. I'm like, does it? Yeah. You need the bruiser, right? Listen, man, it's, it's done, man. A bruiser? Right, right now. <laughs> right, right now. Right Don't now. worry about what makes him unique, Tim. We just need a bruiser. We just need a bruiser. The Suicide Squad by. Uh, the 2022 version was a lot more well received. We just need a bruiser, all right? Don't worry about the details. <laughs> right now, we're we're in we're in the apocalypse of the gaming industry. Where I think people are gonna people who need to get out is gonna get out because they're the ones who want that instant instant transaction money, free ATM, straight convenient convenience store money, mm. uh, convenience store ATM, and uh, once they leave, the gaming industry might have regular not. Regular double A games that 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 feed the need of gaming, or at least more reasonable expectations. More right? reasonable expe- that's, ex- that's expectations. Yeah, yeah. Of like, so, I think trying to get an immediate return. While again, nobody likes waiting, right? It's 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 not call it. Let's call it what it is. Nobody wants to wait, but to expect your three, four, five year investment to have an immediate return of millions, disregarding the economy, disregarding people's time, disregarding people's wallets. Is 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 it's just not realistic. It's not it's yeah. not it's not something that like you're not putting this in a way that that allows it to even have time to succeed. 